All right, well, we have some good news this week. Uh, we are over 40 subscribers. Welcome everybody to the channel. Um, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we are also over 500 sales on my TCG player shop. Uh, the link should be in the description and floating above my head somewhere. And uh, if you're looking for any cards, take a look through my shop, see if there's anything you're looking for and uh, support the channel that way. Um, and other than that, it is also Universes Beyond Fallout. Uh, we get to look at some Commander decks, some Collector Booster Packs, and this beautiful playmat that my partner got me. Here we got five Collector Boosters. She got me dog meat. The goodest boy. Get him. The goodest boy. Dog meat. You know what? We'll leave dog meat out for this. And some bottle caps. Because that is Fallout currency. Damn. I should have. Oh well. I'll get more at some point in time. Oh, first, let's take a look at these commander decks. Like, first we have Mothman. Anybody from that plays Fallout 76 is probably gonna like this one. Got black, green, and blue. Who seems to be pretty consistent with all of these? We have Dr. Madison Lee. So much Fallout goodness. And look who it is. Everybody's favorite boy dog meat. The ever loyal. Look at that face. You're such a cute puppy. If y'all want me to open these on, on camera, uh, oof. I don't know, I'm probably going to open these off camera and play with them first. But uh, if you would like to see the contents, they're pre-constructed con pre uh, commander decks, so all the deck lists are the same. Uh, you can definitely find it online if you really, really want to find out. But the collector booster packs are basically going to be everything that's going to be in the commander decks anyway, but shiny. So. Looks like we're going to start off with the soldier token. Beautiful foiling. And we got ourselves a little settlement. Oh god, I hope Preston Garvey do not. I do not jump scare me with Preston Garvey. Your, your settlement needs you. Black market. Yeah. Whenever a creature dies, put a charge counter on black market. Interesting. Uh oh, shout out to the boomers. Boomer Scrapper. Whenever Boomer Scrapper enters the battlefield or attacks, you lose one life and creates a junk token. Okay. We have a gunner conscript. To trample. Mm -hmm. We got our first soul, uh, we got our first surge foil. Evolving wilds. Oh god, surge foiling is so pretty. Lumbering mega sloth. We got a damn. It's a twelve cost eight eight trample. Oh, one cost less for each counter among players and permanent. That could be nice. Mutation advantage, we have an instant. Permanent you control with counters on them gain hexproof and indestructible. Oh, that's mean. And 
Oh, that's a lot. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to permanence and proliferate? Good lord. Oh. Sheltered thicket. Ants. Megaton's fate. Uh, how many of y'all defused the bomb? I mean, I'm sure most of us did many, many playthroughs where we've done every iteration of, of Megaton's uh, quest line, but uh, that was so much fun. Oh, eight damage, uh, eight damage to each creature. Each player gets four red counters. Oh, this is going to be such a fun set to play with. Temple of Epiphany. Second Surge Foil. We got Sultron Dominator. Energy counters are apparently a new... No, well, energy is not new. The red counters are the new mechanic. All right. A third surge foil, hour of reckoning. Destroy all non token creatures. Oh, this is so full of board wipes. I am gonna love this. Another surge foil. Hello, scavenger grounds. Tap to add colorless. Exile all graveyards. Oh. Oh, there's gonna be some hate. And we get Dr. Madison Lee in the showcase. It'd be really nice if this was, say, Surge Foil, because oh, the Surge Foil is like $47 or something like that. But for the first Mythic, I will take Dr. Madison Lee. All right. And then, Vandal Blast. Destroy target artifact you can't, don't control. Overload. I'm going to have to look up that overload keyword. Or. If you know the keywords, shove it in the uh, comments and let me know what it is. Aww. Gotta love our little sentry robots. Oh, New Vegas. Yes, man. Having an army of yes men was definitely really fun. Alright, so our first token, our second token. We got a surge foil swamp. Really pretty. Come on, focus. <gasps> Is that you and dog meat? Electro siphon. Counter target spell. You get amount of energy counters equal to its mono value. All right, blue players. I love that. Entrapment maneuver. Like your player sacrifices an attacking creature. Wow, okay. A lot of tokens, a lot of tokens. Crimson Caravaneer. Double Strike Trample. One, two. Nice. A great jump tokens. So many tokens in this set. Crush Contraband. Oh boy. So it looks like he's crushing a, uh, a Sultron's head. Yeah, exile target artifact or enchantment. Nice. Good spot removal. Screeching Scorch Beast. 5-5 five, five Flying Menace, always good. Red counters and counters and counters. You're gonna wanna put proliferate. A lot of proliferate in this. Paladin Elizabeth Taggarty. I don't remember her out of the series. She's one of the Brotherhood of Steel, obviously. But we got a 3-2 Battalion. And at least two other creatures attack, draw a card. A creature card with mono value X or less from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped in attacking where X is Taggarty's power. Also with Big Beastie on the field. At Fetid Pools. Mr. Gutsy. Oh, hello, buddy. Uh, having a Gutsy as a companion is also really handy. Well, I mean, I guess we get Mr. Handy. Uh, 
artifact creature, 1-1 one, one for a 2 cost, we put an aura equipment spell or 1-1 one, one counter. Okay. Create junk tokens for every 1-1. One, one. Nice. Hinterland Harbor. Is this Far Harbor? Bringing some DLC into this? Unless you control a forester and island. Okay, nice. Uh oh. Hello. Ah. Uh, yep. Dangerous mind. First strike, case 3 2. When he attacks, create a treasure token. Sacrifice five treasure tokens. Control of target creature for as long. Oh, gain control of target creature. Alright. Kill log and search foil. Bring it on. Temple of Triumph and Surge. Rampant Growth and Surge. Awesome. And Inventory Management and Showcase. Split second. Instant for each aura and equipment control. You may attach it to a creature you control. And a showcase holographic of Screeching Scorch Beast. 5-5, five, five, Bat Mutant, Flying Menace. Oh boy. Alright, 76ers rise up. It even makes the screen look fuzzy like old technology. I love it. Oh my god, it's so cool. We're looking for serialized cards, of course. Alright, we got a shiny uh, warrior. almost said robot. Shiny warrior token, shiny land. We have a surge foil feral ghoul. E2 with menace. Colonel Autumn. E3 lifelink. Exploit. Oh, yeah. Breakdown. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Create a junk token. Nice. Okay, so we got a legendary artifact, the Pride Wind Steel Flagship. 6 6 flying. Okay. Alright, here's the Soul Ring. This is good, this is good. We always want to see the Soul Ring out of all the, all the collector boosters. Bottle caps. Oh, that's fun. Piper. Piper guys. Shame she's not in surge foiling, but I'll take her. And how good would she be as a commander? Whenever Piper deals combat damage, investigate that many times, sacrifice a clue. Okay, so she uses clue tokens. We got Tireless Tracker. Landfall, nice. Mother load excavator. Legendary artifact creature robot 5-5. Five five. When it enters the battlefield, choose target opponent. You get an amount of energy equal to the number of non-basic lands that player controls. Okay. Oh, then you can destroy their land. Hmm. Heroic intervention, the mysterious stranger. Dude, having that perk sometimes was the most hilarious thing. Having the mysterious stranger just straight up just come in and just decimate everybody. Permanents you control gain hexproof and indestructible till end of turn. There's a lot of like indestructible stuff in this. All right, nuke and nuke launcher and and, and surge foiling. God, that's so pretty. Even though it's a freaking mutant. Equip creature gets plus three, plus zero, and has intimidate. Once again, another keyword that I'm not quite familiar with because I don't play magic as much. If you know what intimidate is, I'm guessing it's like menace. Because menace is in this set. Oh, I don't know. 
Surge Foil Marshall's Anthem. Multi Kicker. Creatures you control get plus one plus one. When he enters the battlefield, return up to X target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the number of times he was kicked. Okay. We have a Surge Foil Fervent Charge. Where creature you control attacks, it gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Alright. We have a non hollow Vandal Beast. Full art. Vandal Blast. Kaisar's Legions, a uh, Kaisar Legions Emperor for our Mythic Showcase. Alright. Whenever you attack, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, choose two. Create two 1 1 red and white soldier creature tokens with haste that are tapped in attacking. Draw a card and you lose one life. Legions Emperor deals damage equal to the number of creature tokens you control to target opponent. Oh, just, man, just straight up damage to the opponent. Wow. Alright, we saw some we saw some token and artifact generation stuff earlier. Hmm. Zombie mutant. Interesting token creature. Got zombie mutant. Search foil forest. Rad Storm. Storm, when you cast a spell, copy it for each spell cast before it this turn. Isn't that Cascade? And proliferate. Proliferate. Oh my god. This. Why does this seem so broken? Okay, we got another foil black market. Temple of Triumph. Alright, we got a scry one. Swords to plowshares. Gotta go defend, gotta go help defend the robots, man. This was definitely a fun quest line, also. Exile target creature, its controller gains life equal to its power. They're, uh, they're a bunch of robots just automating a, a, a farm, and you help them out. It's quite funny. They All the robots have great personalities. Summit enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a swamp or a mountain. Okay. Mutational advantage. Permanents you control with counters on them gain hexproof and indestructible. Oh, that's right. I got one of these already. Biomass mutation. Creatures you control with base power and toughness XX until end of turn. Oh, the mouth. The caravan here with the mouth. She is a spitfire in the game. Tons of fun to drink with and have great conversations with. 4-3 Vigilance. Makes sense. Whenever Kasser, another creature you control, dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return any number of aura cards that were attached to it from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to the target creature then attach any number of equipment that were attached to it to that creature. Okay, so we are now getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! level wording. Oh, get it. Okay, and we get Hour of Reckoning. Is this, uh, is this the Enclave? Looks like the Enclave to me. Or, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's Brotherhood of Steel. Alright, Convoke and destroy all not token creatures. God. Vault 11 in Surge Foil. Beautiful. Rotor's Dilemma. We like Sagas. We definitely like Sagas. For each uh, opponent, you create a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. Uh, 2 and 3 are. 
each player secretly votes for up to one creature, then those votes are revealed. If no creature got votes, each player draws a card. Otherwise, destroy each creature with the most votes or tied for the most votes. That, that is hilarious. They're putting in politicking into this. Oh God, even worse. Even, even more politicking into the Commander uh, games. All right, we got a showcase of West Tech Tyrant. Death Touch 6-6. Six, six. Oh, that's nasty. Whenever he enters the battlefield or attacks, create two, two, two black zombie creature tokens. That seems like really a lot of fun. And we get the showcase Alpha Death Claw. Hello, 6-6 six, six, Menace Trample. He becomes monstrous, destroy target, or becomes monstrous. Okay, destroy target permanent. <laughs> Got a uh, mutant squirrel for a token. It's fun. And camera focus. We got the planes with a vault dweller just overseeing her future wasteland dominance. Do you build settlements? Sungrass Prairie. Beautiful land. Overseer of Vault 76. Oh boy. First contract. I still haven't. I, I think. I don't think I've gotten all of the Overseer's journal entries on 76. I think that was one that I just kind of gave up on. But um, maybe one of these days I'll hop back on. An Overseer of Vault 76 or another creature with power 3 or less enters the battlefield under your control. Put a quest counter on Overseer of Vault 76. Okay. All that glitters. Enchant creature. 1-1 one, one for each artifact and or enchant that you control. Okay. Making beat sticks. Unexpected Windfall. Has an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, draw two cards, and create two treasure tokens. I do like me treasure tokens. Hancock. Oh me. Uh, we love Hancock. He was definitely the uh, one of the best and well-written ghouls and I think all of, all of uh, Fallout. He was just too much fun to play with. And he's sassy. Another pallet integrity. Canyon Sloth. All right, we have a foil Hancock. Take a shiny, I'll take a shiny of all of these. Very stream. Okay. Ah, yes man, Surge Foil. Hello, buddy. Take over the world, he's your man. You want somebody to say yes to anything? He's your man, he's yes man. And he's your personal Securitron. And will get you into a lot of trouble. Uh, let's see, target opponent gains control of a yes man. Oh, tap. To target opponent gains control of yes man. Personal Securitron, when they do, you draw two cards and put a quest counter on yes man. Activate only during your turn. When yes man leaves the battlefield, its owner creates a tap 1 1 white soldier creature token for each quest counter on it. Hmm. Okay. And we have a Surge Foil Temple of Mystery. Okay. Isolated Chapel Surge Foil. All oh, the Surge Foils, man. Right. And I want the bobbleheads. Not a single bobblehead out of any of these. Uh, Command Tower. Okay. Alright. I'm sure some. I'm sure that that has a use. I don't play really Commander much, but. And then the showcase inventory management. I think I have two of these now. Much fun. Looks like a staticky screen. All right. Well, hopefully that was a slightly shorter video, but uh, nah, probably not because I took a lot more time between the cards. Because you can actually read them. It's amazing. But uh, yeah, we will continue chasing ghosts in the next video, and I will see you then. Later.